Hey, so recently I had made a video about um, what I eat in a day and I had somebody respond back to that video and ask me to make a video about what I drink in a day. And um, you know, I never really thought too much about what it is that I drink in a day. But then when I did sit back and think about it, I was like, you know, I actually drink some interesting drinks through the day. So I decided that that would make a really great video um, for you and uh, give you some good <laughs> drinks to make that can help you with staying um, healthy and vital and keep your digestion strong and keep your immune system up. So I'm gonna share all the drinks that I drink throughout the day and I hope you enjoy it. Every single day I, I do always have uh, for the most part some kind of nut or seed plant milk made on hand and glass jars in my refrigerator this particular one I have affectionately named labor of love because it is just that it's literally a labor of love <laughs> it's intensive but it tastes so good that it's one of these nut milk so like a milk substitute um, that it's so good, it's so yummy. I, I probably wouldn't mix it with too many things, you know, maybe just some herbs or um, a little bit. It's a good stand on its own and it does take so much effort to make it that, um, you know, I wouldn't use it as like in my soups or stews or, or anything like that. Maybe not even like a complicated smoothie because you could just use a much more simple um, nut milk for that. But if you want like some vanilla yumminess just on its own that maybe you could add a little bit of matcha or maca or some adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha to this would be the nut milk that I would definitely recommend having on hand. So the first thing that I did is I soaked almonds overnight so that they sprouted. Um, and so this is an, a sprouted almond. And then because it's soaked, you can easily peel the skin right off. So this is a peel, this is a soaked almond overnight that's been peeled. And in Ayurvedic medicine, these little guys are said to be very ojas producing. So ojas is like the nectar, the essence, the immunity in your body. And it gets depleted by stress, anxiety, worry. Um, and there are certain practices like meditation and other getting a massage, being happy, spending time in nature, being with people you love that builds ojas in your body. There are activities and experiences like being exposed to anxiety or trauma that will deplete the ojas in your body. Soaked, sprouted, and peeled almonds build ohas. It's believed to be one of the biggest ojas producing, enhancing foods that you could eat. This raw honey, ghee, water, dates are some of the biggest, the other ones. So I peeled all these. I peeled all these. The first thing you want to do is just cut off the top. So you could see how there's these three prongs after you cut the husk off on the coconut. Um, and that's like the opening point. So you can do that two ways. One is you can take the flat end of a knife and hit it and crack into each of the ends of the, the prongs. One, two, three. A lot of people are intimidated to do that. Um, you just wanna hold the coconut at the bottom and do that. And then you can kind of pry the top off it almost comes off like like a lid the other way i'm going to show you for new people i think this is the way to do it and it's to use um a flat is this a phillips <laughs> I, I can't remember anyways whatever the one is that has the flat end that's the one you want to use 
and then you literally just hold it down at the edge of the prong. You're gonna upload this, and are you gonna cut out? Are you gonna cut out me talking and stuff? Maybe. Uh oh, Did kind of a good job. That's it. So then you've got to scoop out all the meat and put the coconut water in a separate vessel. So we are making a large quantity of nut milk here. Um, we're really gonna probably make about 12 cups of nut milk. And um, so I kind of want to just go over the ingredients that we need. So you've got your soaked and peeled almonds, coconut meat, coconut water from that coconut and we need more coconut water and um so i think this is the best store-bought coconut water where the other stuff doesn't quite live up to par it's it's expensive but for the labor of love nut milk that's such a good thing to have and to drink on its own and you're going to be making um as much as you're going to be making of it 16 cups uh, I think it's definitely worth worth the investment, personally. And uh, another thing you want to do is get yourself some good quality honey, or you can use dates if you're vegan. That's what, those are perfectly fine. So like raw vanilla bean powder. So this is Kiva, and I do like it. I don't know, said I vie, said the old folks down at the bar. And our old friends bothered and all wondering where you are. And yes, you could totally drink this on its own. Um, I'm going to show you because I, I make it and I just keep it in my refrigerator and then I use it um, to make other drinks <laughs> throughout the day. So I don't usually just have, have it on its own. So I'll show you those as the, uh, the day progresses. fall winter day when you really want to get that latte type vibe going on without the stimulant of the caffeine. I can't really handle that much caffeine myself, uh, but I do like that sort of coffee latte taste and this just really hits that spot, but in a really healthy and rejuvenating way. So cheers. This drink that I just showed you and this drink on the same morning is they're both pretty dense and actually I think that they're kind of meals onto themselves um, the fat content is pretty high and so they give you a really great sustaining energy just that into itself um, but I enjoy both both of them for different reasons so I wanted to share them with you um, this drink is um, served at room temperature and it has um, the matcha, ashwagandha, and maca root in it. So it's got a little bit of stimulant um, actions, but they're adaptogenic um, herbs. So adaptogenic 
you can hear the word adapt in there. It helps your body to adapt literally to the um, ebbs and flows of the stressors that may show up in your life. They give you a lot of strength and fortitude. Um, ashwagandha in particular is an Ayurvedic herb that um, is used more and more now by alternative medical practitioners and holistic medical practitioners um, because of its ability to rejuvenate the adrenal glands if somebody has adrenal fatigue. So it's good at rejuvenating the body, but it's also a good protector. If you're somebody that's doing a lot in the world and you're very active and you're very, very busy, ashwagandha can prevent you from entering burnout. Um, so I just use about a half a teaspoon and I, I use my herbs not so much like um, taking pills and capsules of them, but I try to include them in my food. I, you can add them into soups and smoothie, smoothies um, like this, drinks, beverages, etc., rather than taking them allopathically like in a pill or a capsule. And matcha is, um, has a lot of really antioxidants in it that are really good for the skin. I also do like the way that matcha tastes. And maca root is a Peruvian root um, from Peru that also is very adaptogenic and um, gives the body a lot of fortitude. It's got some hormonal balancing properties in it as well. So, and collectively they taste really good and um, make a great morning drink. So, enjoy. So we use something called spiced waters in Ayurveda. And a spiced water is a water that's been infused with spices. And the spices are usually chosen to help with either augmenting or enhancing digestive function and tendency. So everyone has a different digestive tendency. Um, some of us have variable tendency. So where your digestion is variable, sometimes you're regular, sometimes you're not. Um, sometimes you're hungry, sometimes you're not. Other types may have a very strong digestive uh, tendency, so they feel hungry a lot and their food moves quickly throughout their body. Their metabolism is fast. And for others, your digestive tendency may be slow, so you may be predisposed towards um, sluggishness and mucus production in the, in the gut. So you can use spices to help with reducing the negative tendencies in your digestion and enhancing the positive ones. I really particularly like the combination of licorice root, ginger, cardamom, and cinnamon because most digestive types benefit from licorice roots, um, very healing for the intestinal lining, it's anti-inflammatory, it liquefies mucus, it's also an adaptogenic herb, and the ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom, all three of those enhance um, digestive function. So it's a good one for um, climates that get a little bit colder during the fall, the winter, and it's great in spring when there's a lot of like wet dampness and coldness also. So in the future I'll probably do a video that's just on spiced waters, but in the meantime I hope you enjoy this one. Thank you. Well, it's unfortunate for me that after such a yummy, delicious drinking day that the day has to end with such a terrible tasting beverage, <laughs> which is um, Trifala. So Trifala is a combination of three berries. It's actually not herbs, they're, they're berries, and it's an Ayurvedic combination that's pretty, pretty popular, pretty common, pretty well known. And it's called the mother because it's uh, nutritive to all the tissues. It's generally good for all the constitutional types and it helps to tonify and detoxify the colon. And so I'm using it right now. I don't take it every night indefinitely, um, but I'm using it because I'm on a fall cleanse. And um, like I said, it's extremely bitter tasting. It's not the best. And there are capsule versions of it. So if it's so unpalatable to you, you could um, take it in capsule form. But actually, 
in Ayurveda, the tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, pungent, and astringent, the actual taste of things um, is believed to hold medicinal properties. So as much as you can taste the actual thing and what you're consuming and not put it in a capsule, the better. So I'm gonna say good night now and thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my video if you find this to be helpful to you and I'd love to hear suggestions for future videos. And so you know, my specialty is helping people that have digestive issues and anxiety issues. So if you have either of those, I highly recommend my masterclass. The link is below and um, you learn a ton of information that you can start applying straight away. Thank you so much for your time and I hope this information aids you on your path. Good night. the mother and <laughs> they so terrible um you think a mother would taste so heavenly um but like a good mother it's nutritive to the entire body and um loving to all the tissues so i'm gonna keep that in mind while i drink this puppy down and um thanks again so good night <laughs>